Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a reading all about what your person is currently thinking, feeling about you, and what their intentions or next actions will be in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. And let's jump right in for Sagittarius, Spirit, Angels, guides. What guidance, what messages do you have? For Sagittarius spirit regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are their person thoughts, feelings, energies? What are their energies towards Sagittarius? Towards Sagittarius. Okay, let's see what we get for you. The High Priestess. Six of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. Mm. I'm hearing I need a chance. Like, baby, give me one more chance. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, death. Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like something could have ended here or changed between you and this person, Sagittarius. And now it's like they're hoping for things to turn around, for there to be a new opportunity that comes in, or for there to be something that balances out here between you. Now, the High Priestess is telling me that there is some sort of secret or mystery element here. Maybe there's no communication between you. Maybe someone's really listening to their intuition right now, to their inner voice. Maybe they're just planning or doing something in secret. We'll get to uh, clarifying that in a second. Tell me more about these energies that this person has towards Sagittarius. What are the energies? Paralyzing fear. Okay, so someone's scared, hesitant, burning passion. Okay, but interested. <laughs> I feel like someone's very motivated. Their emotions are all over the place too. Burden heart, yeah. They're they're an emotional mess, this person. And I'm not sure why, but they are. I think whatever happened between you, they haven't handled it well, or they're not coping well with the situation. They're burdened by everything that's happening, despite, you know, and it's almost like they don't know what to do with their own feelings or their desires. You know, it's like they really, really want something, but at the same time, they're super scared of it or feeling burdened by it. It's like they're they're almost scared of their own feelings towards you. Can I get some more insight for this person's energies towards Sagittarius? Curious, interested, and inquisitive. Oh, yeah. So they're definitely into you and spontaneous, impulsive, and unplanned. Yeah, I think this person goes between... You know, wanting to do something right now and then their fear kind of holding them back. I don't know about that. Uh, bottom of the deck, we have mysterious, enigmatic, and mystifying. I think this is part of the high priestess energy. It's like something's happening that maybe you're not aware of, Sagittarius, or this person themselves is a mystery. Like you can't really figure them out and I can't really figure them out because again, I feel like their energy is like all over the place. Now let's put this over here. So let's get some clarity. Move these over. Give me more for Sagittarius. Can we get some clarity? On the energies. Okay, tell me about this high priestess. Nine of swords. Yeah, someone's scared. This person is really scared. Tell me about the high priestess. And their fear is paralyzing. So they're too scared to act, to move. Tell me about the high priestess. Okay. Three of pentacles. Effort. Work. Could also be a third person. Ten of pentacles. Oh, okay. This person could just be um, scared of commitment or scared of an existing interference. We have the tower, bottom of the deck. Something unexpected, something something could have already ended though, because we had death at the bottom of the deck. 
maybe that was, you know, very shocking for them and expected for them. But I also get the sense that there's something that this person is internalizing with the high priestess. And it has to do with something that they are fearing. And I'm already trying to like figure this out. I really feel like they're afraid of the the intensity of their emotions at this time. Now, it could be that they are still processing this tower. It could be that they are burdened by this tower and what happened between you. And they're trying to figure out how this can be like worked around with the three of pentacles. Let's see. Tell me about the three of pentacles. Why is the three of pentacles here? The hangman. Okay, so again, there's no action no movement this is someone that's just kind of processing and seeing things differently tell me about this ten of pentacles why is the ten of pentacles strength leo energy and the lovers at the bottom of the deck courage control stability so i feel like this is somebody that there's something else that's happening here that i'm not seeing in the cards just yet but it's coming up slowly the lovers, Gemini energy, the higher font, Taurus energy, and then the ace of swords. I don't know if this person is afraid of commitment, afraid of your connection or how they feel towards you, or if there is an existing commitment that they know is a problem. And the ace of swords is telling me that there needs to be clarity about this, or there needs to be, someone needs to be honest with themselves about this whole situation. Okay, let's keep going because we might get some more insight. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Seven of Pentacles. Okay, tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's anxious over the future outcome of something, over the result of something, unsure. Okay, we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. Thinking, planning, reflecting, and then the Chariot, Cancer energy moving forward i think that someone's wondering about the future success of something there's six of pentacles again will i be able to fix this do we have a future someone's unsure and i feel like they cannot this is something that they can't be unsure or uncertain about tell me more about the six of pentacles nine of wands eight of wands and then the queen of swords hmm well, the Knight of Wands has gone through something difficult. I do have Burden Heart here, which is kind of like the Ten of Wands of my deck. And the Knight of Wands is someone that's been through things that are difficult, but they're not quite ready to give up. They're just super on guard, super defensive, and just hoping that, you know, they can keep it together. I think what's going on here is that your person is talking themselves out of something that they know needs to be done. And I also am picking up here that your person is super terrified of failure. And so they're so terrified of failure that they don't do anything, which leads to failure. Do you know what I mean? It's like a catch-22 here. And I, I really feel like they're a mess. Like they cannot, they really are, and it's almost like a very like erratic energy. It's like somebody that doesn't quite know which door to open, doesn't know which is the best recourse, the best course of action, the best thing, what should I do right now? I'm not sure. One day it's this, another day is that. And then around all of that is fear. So it's almost like the fear itself is affecting everything else. I think that this person could be terrified of losing you or terrified of continuing to make mistakes and it's almost like it's, it's it's almost like this is somebody that's like eating their own tail. I'm picturing someone eating their own tail. Anyways, okay, let's keep going. The Wheel of Fortune. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune spirit for Sagittarius. Why is it with, oh wow, that's a lot. That is a lot, but we're gonna just go through them. Knight of Pentacles, some sort of slow offer with potential. Six of Wands, success. Okay, and then here we go. Four of Cups, Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Four of Swords, the Moon, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like this is your person's mind. <laughs> you know, there's some sort of conflict obstacle with the Five of Swords, Five of Wands. 
Maybe they deceived you or treated you unfairly. Maybe they gave you a reason to back off, to check out, to no longer be interested in them. And let me know if that's resonating for you. Does something happen with this person to the point that you're not even interested in what's going on or what they might have to offer? The moon, the ten of wands, Pisces energy again, um, here with the moon very similar to this high priestess energy someone is really burdened by what they're unsure about it's almost like their doubts their fears because that's what the moon represents the moon is something that's hidden the moon is an illusion the moon is kind of like when you're walking down a dark path and you see things that aren't there because the shadows are playing tricks on you. It's kind of like the moon energy. So the 10 of wands is like this person's burdened by this. They're burdened by what they don't know. They're burdened by the fear, the doubt that is plaguing them. I think it's eating away at their confidence, this person. And so even though they might have good intentions with the Knight of Pentacles, all they can do is be paralyzed, Four of Swords. It's almost like I just am going to think about this over and over and over again. Some of you, you're dealing with someone that has a drinking problem. This is not for everyone, but it's a drinking problem. Um, it gets worse depending on how they feel emotionally. And it's affecting all everything in their life. I think they lost you because of this drinking problem. Others of you, they couldn't handle their temper. It's something like that. Again, this is not going to resonate for all of you. It's only some of you, but it is coming up. Yeah, they have no one but themselves to blame. That's, it's, it's again, it's a revolving door. It's almost like, <laughs> I feel for this person, but at the same time, they have no one else to blame but themselves and the fact that they haven't been able to address this issue that they have. Others of you, this person, I think that the tower affected them. I think a separation must have happened or an ending or change in their life or in your connection. That has sent them on this spiral. Let's get some more energies here. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person's energy. What do we need to know about this person's energy? What do we need to know about this person's energy? I feel guilty and I'm afraid. Yeah. I'm telling you, maybe their guilt is consuming them to the point where they can't function. Maybe they know they have no one else to blame but themselves. But what can they do with that? Can I get one more? One more um, energy for this person's, okay. I don't know what to do. Yeah, exactly. I'm telling you, this person's like a hamster in a wheel or something. Like, they are just constantly in this emotional roller coaster bottom of the deck i can't let you go so let's get into what their true intentions or next possible actions are going to be here towards you what is this person's true intentions or next possible actions when it comes to sagittarius or this connection what are this person's true intentions Next possible actions. Their true intentions. Next possible actions. Oh my god, the tower. This tower is like the worst thing that could happen to this person. The world. Oh my god. And the three of pentacles. Well, the tower and the world are super powerful together. For me as a reader anyway. It's almost like nothing will be the same ever again. A chapter closes for good. Something changes for good. And then a new cycle starts. The star at the bottom of the deck, Aquarius energy. Well, this is a good card to have when all of this is going on because it's like faith, having hope, having faith, self-care, caring for yourself, renewal healing inner healing inner child healing etc etc the world in the three of pentacles building something new building a new foundation working alongside people that you can you know improve things with and, and it's like a team effort and you collaborate and work well together let's get some insight here 
Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. The nine of pentacles and the world again. Oh yeah, this tower and the world go together. The nine of pentacles is independent, confident, secure. Seven of swords at the bottom with the six of swords and the eight of cups. So someone could be needing to make a permanent move or leave something behind. Sneak off into the night. <laughs> I feel like this is somebody that, you know, the past must be left in the past. Um, I feel like your person is hoping to be free, independent of something in order to have this new beginning, this new cycle. Tell me about the world. Yeah, I'm... I'm ah. I'm picturing someone like with a parachute. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, the Three of Wands, and then there's Star again, Aquarius energy. I feel like this is someone that wants to take a leap into a new cycle, change their circumstances, heal their circumstances, have hope or faith in something new here, Page of Cups. I think this person's going to have like a Hail Mary with you or they're going to try to... Um, it's almost like the, the very fact that they want to start this new cycle is a tower. I think this person's willing to wait for this. Three of Wands. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Why is the Three of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Fool. Whole new beginning here. And Justice. Libra Energy. With the Tower again. Bottom of the deck. Holy crap. Okay, so a lot of repeating messages here. Once again, the fool, the world, very similar. The world came out twice. The tower came out twice. The star came out twice. What's behind the tower? Queen of Pentacles. Okay, justice is here with the fool, which tells me this is a more balanced, objective, um, just change. I think this person is hoping for a miracle. And, they're, and for some reason, I think they're going to cause a tower, Sagittarius. Because I think they literally feel like they have no other choice but to make this happen or make this big change. And this tower could take some time to develop, to happen with the Three of Wands here. Maybe they need to be free of something and that in itself is a tower. Maybe they need to be free of baggage with the fool and ready for something new. Maybe they're going through some sort of counseling or therapy, um, some sort of change that, you know, heals a situation for them. And this causes a tower. I feel like they're going to have to walk away from something. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. But tell me more. One more, one more energy for this person and how they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Sagittarius. What do we need to know about this individual spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? Nope. What do we need to know about this individual that Sagittarius is, has, or will be dealing with? What do we need to know that they don't feel right? Okay, here we go. I am willing to do anything for us to be together. Oh yeah, that's definitely the energy here. I mean, willing to even cause a tower. What else? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? This one. I regret not taking action sooner. Well, you couldn't because you were terrified, paralyzed by fear, overwhelmed by your emotions, not even sure what you wanted to do, how you wanted to do it. You just knew you were afraid and you felt guilty. Bottom of the deck, I stay up at night thinking of you. Yeah, I can see that. This is somebody, Sagittarius, that I feel is undergoing some sort of transformation or change driven by real fear. And I think it's because they don't wanna lose you. There's something that must have happened that I feel they can blame themselves for <laughs> that caused them to lose you. And it's almost like it's lit a match for them or, or, or change things for them to the extent like, that like right now they might be an emotional mess and completely paralyzed by their emotions. But it seems like this Wheel of Fortune could help them process this. And I feel like they're going to be pushed in some way 
to cause a tower in their life. And for some reason, they feel that this will heal things between you and them. And it's almost like they're willing to do anything for you, for this connection. And maybe that's a good thing. And maybe that's not such a good thing. It's going to depend on what situation it is that we're talking about here. It's going to be different for all of you. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's a great way of supporting what I do here on YouTube for free. I really appreciate anybody who takes the time out of their day to do that. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.